this is Shah. Welcome back. This is your reading for April 2021, and um, it, it, we are still. We've just come. We're in the season of Aries. Everything is moving fast. Action, creativity, logic, strategic. Going for what you want. Passion, passion, passion. Perhaps for most of you, and also. We are in April and we've been uh, 10 days now that we've been um, in spring and we have seen many changes, sun sign. Now we are getting a couple of days of sunshine, rain, snow and hail. Whilst I'm re making this reading for you, it is snowing outside. It's wet snow but it's still snow and it looks like if the angel feathers are coming, falling down from heaven. It's quite beautiful, especially when a snowdrop land, snow lands on the window and it just looks like a feather of the angels. So I'm not alone. I never am, but now it's visual and it's so nice to know that they're here. So I hope you enjoy your reading and the energy. Let's see what we've got for you. First of all, we have the death card, the over uh, all energy. And that's the death card here. You can see somebody old that has died and in birth new. So this shows you a better picture um, in this deck um, of what death really is. It's the end of a phase and a new beginning. This could literally be a birth. Um, and a death, of course, but I don't think so. I never take it as literally death um, because that is against the codes of the psychic reading. And that's why I will never, ever... I can't say if somebody dies or not. That is in the hands of the divine and the angels, but that is also against the code of ethics if you are a reader. I've been a reader for nearly 55 years, uh, 50, 52 to 53 years since I was, um, I already read people before I was 21, got to know that I had this gift. I already, ha I was born with this gift. I was reprimanded by um, grown-ups not to um, make any conclusions or read people. Um, it just happens you've got it or you haven't so I got um, told off for doing this work so that's why I when I got into the work I stepped out of it two three times because I didn't feel comfortable with it because it just came true but I never ever um, uh, told anybody uh, about death you just don't do it this is what I've learned uh, because what this reading is taking on a life of its own but I will tell you anyway when uh, when my father died and I I saw him uh, that night passing uh, he had already passed over on the earth but I saw his ancestral body I didn't know what an ancestral body was and I didn't know my mother had the gift either and I went to search for somebody like a psychic, a medium that could um, converse with my father that passed away because I wanted to speak to him. And I'm getting all emotional, the same feeling that I had, uh, what you call it, about 43 years ago. 43 years ago, my father passed away. Um, and I think he's here. He's here to help me. Um, he's one of my guides, so is my mum, uh, besides my angels. And I think uh, for somebody out there, if somebody has passed away and you're missing them, then time, uh, time will heal and they will all know this, that they will always be with you. And some if they if somebody leaves the earth it they have to have time to transcend or transform um to come 
to terms with what has happened because sometimes when you go on to the other side they don't realize what has happened because it's it it's not scary you just go into an other vibration I just needed to tell you that don't worry they're always there just look for the signs like two peas in a pod is being told to me like two peas in a pod here again we've got two the Sun and the moon you can't do without one or the other again black and white this is so phenomenal this reading it is even moving me it is showing we are together we are two peas in a pod if this your father or if it is a child that has passed away my condolences my love and I'm sending you Reiki and healing I'm doing that to everybody every day I include you also in my meditation and prayers so that said um, that is enough know that you're not alone they are your angel or your guides it depends how you want to see it or how you want to call it they are still with you you are uh, your inner transformational pe period and also remember like I said time will heal that is also uh, your loss whether it's a job whether it's a partner a friend a child or anything like that granny in real loss you need to transcend to to the new phase of life it takes um, when you have a loss like I said even if it is a job or a relationship or whatever you need uh, time to transform yourself into a better version of yourself and that is what time does it heals you learn to cope with loss or change even the people that have gone over okay well the point of the story I wanted to talk to my father and that is when I seeked uh, advice from mediums or psychics um, because I felt I couldn't connect with them but they explained to me when you transcend you have to have or you will have a, a time of transformation rest like the four of swords now talking about swords you have two sword cards don't worry okay you've got 13 here and that means there will be more friends uh, and fellowship friendships coming your way aim for the stars I hear aim for the stars F um, aim for the sky spread your wings fly high soar in the freedom there could be partnerships because you've got the two of coins you might be balancing between home and work um, but also you could um, be partnering up two means partnering up somebody new will come into your life this could be a Scorpio you've got the ten of swords an ending well an ending somebody might or you might have lost a friendship because you broke it off and it just felt like death an ending that is an end of a face as well an ending of a job you might not have liked this place that you worked at and people were talking behind your back you felt betrayed that is what the ten of swords means feeling betrayed an ending of a friendship an ending of a relationship so don't worry there is an ending where there is an ending there is a new beginning perhaps if you haven't got a job because you left it or you uh, due to friction and arguments gossiping people stabbing you in the back you might be hard up for money at the moment but there is good news here you are you've got transformation new beginning here you are you've got recognition the chariot the chariot means recognition for your hard work you've got recognition from within the family and publicly and also from a new employer look at the hands holding up yes 
the hands are ready to receive so open your hands open your arms to receive the new that's coming in it's going to be better than it ever was because you are the victor you might be moving home you could be moving business you could be moving your own business expanding wow there could be a cancer around you that is significant here you are you've got Scorpio and cancer two water signs again you have a water sign with the high priestess that is Pisces and cancer as she represents the moon so there is movement forwards and upwards promotions boom 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 things are coming back to life literally and figuratively wow it, it you could be traveling you could be traveling for work or you could be traveling uh, for holiday rest time also going towards family you have the family card here so you might be traveling to see family you've got the nine of swords you might have sleepless nights and worries well will I get there uh, will I get there uh, to my destination you uh, are you questioning about the COVID well double check your itinerary check the times check if you're allowed to travel check whether you have to be inoculated to travel things like that so don't worry put your problems next to your clothes at night again a nine is an ending there is a fresh new start you'll have success and luck because of the chariot and number seven you are strong 13 becomes a four which is proper foundations this new beginning will have proper foundations if need be seek advice the Emperor this could be of a father figure or a mature man that you respect or a business figure this could be a doctor this could be uh, government uh, officials um, passport uh, register office um, perhaps you might be traveling to go to a wedding well wow, wow because we do have the magician as well magic is in the air luck is with you so seek advice professional or from family you've got the old father figure here mature man um, the Emperor does represent Aries so there could also be a significant Aries and we've got Aries twice because we've also got the magician the magician is Aries and Gemini or Gemini so one of the two is could be prominent could be somebody in the family or it could be you are meeting up with them or they could be coming into your life Wow now be transparent be clear don't create any illusion then you won't be disillusioned that is what the magician says to me or means to me you can make the magic happen if you haven't got a work or if or job at the moment then you can make it happen by going out there doing your magic selling yourself you've got the gift of the gap because you've got the energy of the Gemini uh, there and you've also got the determination of Aries and that is the time in Aries you will get that job because you are in the spotlight you have victory you will have victory listen to your intuition if somebody has been uh, untrue or unfaithful to you uh, at work or at home or wherever then you listen to your intuition if things sound too good to be true then it usually isn't that is your warning system warning you no don't go so if you are worried about something and having sleepless nights then heed the warning because the high priestess is a spiritual person and she plays the cards close to her chest she keeps secrets until it is time to let everybody know and also she listens to her intuition and higher self so let 
if you have any new ideas then watch out for the competition or people around you that they don't steal your ideas this could be a Pisces like I said or a Cancer okay because they those two represent the moon card okay now listen be warned listen to your inner uh, system okay that is your safety or alarm system your intuition again you've got cancer here so there could be a prominent cancer and cancer is also the king of cups here you are boom he's a loving nurturing caring man he's passionate and also very sensual and sexy well there's passion in Aries as well so the passion will with this man passion will fly Pfft, no problem so again this could be your father figure okay in this deck the the the, the kings are depicted as somebody older we've got Aries we've got Gemini and Aries again we've got Cancer and Pisces and here we've got Cancer and Cancer so there must be a, um, a prominent Cancer for most of you there will be a happy ending to difficulties because you've got the victory card and you have the Ten of Pentacles if you haven't got the money you will have the money you will magically find a way to get the money perhaps take a loan from the bank this could be your bank official the bookkeeper or your father you might get that money for the deposit for that house because the Ten of Pentacles to me also means expansion and moving onwards moving home this is also the card for buying a house having enough money to buy the house or to expend the family it could be that uh, an older generation will move in with you in the family and making the family complete perhaps that is why you have to move into a larger home okay now I'm going to pull a card from the deck the domestic anim uh, dog Albus he's lovely I love him vision you might be the one that has the vision to expand and perhaps somebody else is saying no 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 and they're talking negative about you boom that could be it but you have bigger wider vision a different perspective and you will win and um, you might it might be an older generation no we don't want granddad here uh, or we your partner for an inst this is hypothetically speaking no we don't want anybody old in the family you're busy enough as it is because you've got to take care of the children and you've got to take care of the house and you're working outside the house and uh, he's been in a nursing or she's been in a nursing home and that could be uh, they could be bringing COVID in and we are safe and sound as we are or it will lock us down because they are funeral because they're older things like that somebody might be making more problems out of molehills than what is necessary so that perhaps that could be the advising uh, advisor the doctor of this older person the mature person um, saying yes I think they will be safer it will help you financially blah 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 look at the good things but also remember look at the reality and it will be more work and everybody has to pitch in so there we go well it is a wake-up call we have the wake-up card alarms ringing bells um, it's a wake-up call wake up be realistic um, don't take on too much um, to bring the whole family out of balance this is your balance card after all be aware that it is a lot of work if you take in an older generation it is fun um, try it out I would say if you have doubts 
whether it will work out um, do a trial period talk talk to the doctor of the person that might be moving in if that is your story but there will be reunion in family and with family and friends a new beginning that is the ten of pentacles there will be uh, material advantages coming towards you peaceful resolution there you are so talk seek advice uh, on all fronts from a bank manager from a real estate agent real estate manager um, from a, uh, from the doctors uh, whatever need be seek advice and like uh, usually I'm, I'm quite surprised that we don't have the king of pentacles okay and um, that is usually the, the man that invests but also seeks the uh, uh, advice um, to get a clear picture of whether his investment will succeed so make sure before you move uh, and do something grand by taking somebody into the home uh, that you can cope with it financially and physically and everybody has to pitch in I think this is awesome wow I hope it resonates take from the reading what you would like um, remember this is a general reading and um, if you would like to have uh, an extensive personal reading then please go to my website you can find the information below in the description box um, and also on the main page you've got all the buttons uh, to Pinterest, Twitter, uh, my website, Facebook please take, send me a private message thank you, take care, God bless and enjoy April Ciao, ciao. There will be mid-month um, videos coming out as well and romance.